Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that packed crack and addiction. We're here with a box of Commander Masters or Battle Bond. Now that these bad boys, well, I'm already ripping it open, are going for like $200 a piece, when there was a day where you could have gotten them for like 90 or even less in some cases. Ooh. a little guilty opening this up. Not really, because, you know, love opening these things. Battle Bond, like, most favorite set ever, maybe. One of my most favorite sets. But if you're looking for ways to support the Booster Therapy franchise, there's a few of them. First one, become a subscriber. Hit the thumbs up. Helps us get our name out there. Second one, become a patron so we can crack packs for you and give you access to a pretty amazing deal. It's a sell list. Then we sell cards 20% under the market rate every single month. And the last one is to head out to noblenight.com. Supporting them supports us. Without further ado, let's see how many mythics this box holds. And if you didn't know, Battle Bond is following the same print run as Ultimate Master. So we go token, land, and then we get our rare. So our first rare is the Tide Spout Tyrant. It's expensive, but it's a pretty powerful card. We're going to look at a few of the uncommons because there are some useful ones. We've got uh, what, Spell Snare, um, Beast Within, Swords to Plowshares. There's, there's just a handful of goodies in there. Chain Lightning. So this set just had a lot of powerful reprints, uh, really for all formats, mainly Commander, though. Zombie. Island and we got a foil dwarven lightsmith. We have that fun assist mechanic. Oh, we got our first partner pair. We got Virtus the Viled and Gorm the Great. That was the other fun thing, is it's just always so much fun to get a couple rares in a pack. And the partners are finally going up in price on these two. I don't know if you guys have all been watching that, but now that there's scarcity, we're done with the print run of Battle Bond, and people are like, oh, but those are such fun partner pairs. Now they're going up in price. Forest. And we got our first mythic. We got Narcana Revenant. Pretty good one if you like doubling that mana pool. Oh, then we got Spell Snare. So we got our first good uncommon. Put that off to the side. So I've had boxes of Battle Bond that have had seven mythics. It would be pretty cool if we could see that again. That and getting things like Mycosynth Lattice is way up in price now, too. We'd love to get another one of those. Planes and the Core Spirit Dancer. This one is going to be going into a commander deck I'm putting together right now. It's actually uh, Ulrich. Sir Ulrich. It's more of a beast than a sir, but, you know. Mirror Token. Swamp. And Regna's Sanction. That, and then we've got the whole friend-foe mechanic, too, which is also just a lot of fun to, to play with. Very unique to this set, and very, very good for playing with politics in Commander. Trying to make a friend. Want to make some foes. You choose. Island. And we've got the Generous Patron. This could be you. Patreon.com slash Booster Therapy. At least go out there and check it out. All right. Emblem. Mountain. And we got the Sea of Clouds. More than anything, would love to hit the complete land cycle. You know, we're gonna track that off to the side a little bit. I wanna see if we get, um, how many of those we get. I think Sea of Clouds is one of the, the lower price ones, but at this point, I think all of them but one are over $10. So, Zombie, Planes, and the new Scrath Mob with that beautiful Seb McKinnon artwork. Oh, the Tenacious Dead. Warrior, Forest, 
Zinder Splits Judgment. Another fun card with friend or foe. Love the friend or foe cards. All right. Come on, doubling season and mycosynthelitis. Those are the, I think those are the top cards right now. Beast, forest, and oh, we got another dual pair. It's my favorite. Okan and Zinder Split. The coin flippers. Love that coin flip mechanic. I do have those guys. As a commander, I have the, the Zinder Split Okan deck and Eric Williamson, a patron of the channel and a supporter of all good things in the magic world, actually sent me a foil copy of both. So I even got to foil it out. Thanks again, Eric. Warrior. Planes. Play of the game. Look at that little diva bomb happening right there. That's, that's a nod to... Oops, Swords of the Pop Shares. That's definitely a nod to Overwatch. A game that I love. It's a fun game. Gosh, I'm so glad I had another box of these for us to open. It's fun. Battle Bond is fun. Mirror Token. Island. Oh, we got a foil bonus round. This is a real good card. Makes for some pretty dynamic plays, too. And, all right, we got the Bountiful Promenade. That's a good, nice little pack right there. All right. Well, that's our foil rare. It's not a bad one. It's pretty solid. The foiling on this set was done real well. Spirit. Swamp and a foil centaur healer. And our rare is Guafa Hazid, Profiteer. Look at that man. I think the foil, if we can get a snag another foil rare, maybe get one of those, uh, the dual lands. The land cycle there, those things are worth quite a bit of money. We got a warrior, mountain, and the mind blade render with the new creature type of Azra. Real good if you're trying to make that Najila warrior deck. This, this block really helps set that up just to be a home run. Spirit. Swamp and the Goblin Rays Runners. Another warrior. Oh, there we go. Beast Within. Always good to have a set that just is chocked full of good uncommons. Just adds that much more value to it. And that's probably why these boxes are selling for almost $200 a piece now. Swamp, a zombie. Forest. We got a foil gold forged sentinel and stunning reversal. Another mythic saves you from losing that game. All right, almost through the first half. That's the other thing that's nice about this. There's so much good, so many good cards, so many more packs to open. Island, and then we've got greater good. Very, very solid card. Oh, Chain Lightning. Last pack of the first half of the first 18. Hoping to close out a lot of Mythics on the next one. Maybe we can snake something nice here. Planes and Piers win. It's a good card. This one I speculated a while back. 33 cents a piece is what I bought them for. They are definitely on the rise. All right, second half. I still need to see Pier and Toothy. A few more Mythics. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a Foil Morphic Pool. Warrior. Island. And another Mythic, we got Brightling. That Brightling, powerful little card. Another Swords to Plowshares. Can't have enough of that card. Oh, hard packed open. 
Hopefully it has treasures inside. Emblem. Swamp. And two. We got a saltwater stalwart foil. That's a pretty cool looking foil. And the sour sower of temptation. Another one that's kind of back on the rise as far as price goes. That thing kind of bottomed out for a while. It was less than a dollar, and I think it's back up. Because it is a real good card. You, you get a body and you get to steal a creature. It's worth playing. Warrior. Planes. The Magmatic Force. I really like this guy. Expensive, but again, if you can get him out there, real good. See, I'll try the I'll try the little pull strip. I hate using those things. I feel like it just doesn't open right. It doesn't feel like I'm opening the pack of cards. And I'm constantly worried I'll rip against it. Mirror token. Forest. And another foil rare. We got the Tide Spout Tyrant. Fortunately, this probably takes away the chances of us getting one of those foil dual lands. But we'll take it. Foil rares are always good. And the spell seeker. Love the tutors. Tutor on a stick. Alright, come on. Time to get a big hit. Let's let's see that. Let's see that foil true name nemesis. Mountain. Mangara of Corridor. this means we got Will Kenrith and his, his sister Rowan. That's two mythics and one pack. Will and Rowan Kenrith. All right. Well, we're already up to a five mythic box. That was a quick turnaround. A couple more and we are on a home run. Is that? Is that nice? See, just so much fun to open. That's why people are paying the premium. Swamp. All right, Spire Garden. We got another of the dual land cycle. So we got three of the five. I think we're, think we're missing the two most expensive ones. I think Morphic Pool is certainly the most. And I think Luxury Suite is the second most. Black Red. I mean, that would make sense to me. Warrior. Mountain. And a non-foil bonus round. Another. These cards are so good. So powerful. Every single spell. Ooh, chain Lightning. I mean, I get that it can potentially benefit the people across the table with you, but I mean, just wait for the right moment, I guess. That card is all about patience and then just kind of going off in that one turn. Planes. Fill with fright. Ah, oh, another mythic. We got Najila. The Blade Blossom, another one that I honestly expect to just creep up in price. She is such a good commander. If you're not playing the Warrior uh, Tribal yet, I mean, it's it's so good. I mean, that's five color too with her, which is also part of why she's so valuable. All right, that puts us at six Mythics. Can we do a seven Mythic box? Spirit, Swamp, then we got Corvath's Fury. Friend Foe Mechanic, with a wheel. Love the wheel effects. Beast. Island. Ooh, a foil Elvish Visionary. It's a beautiful foil. And the Stolen Strategy, another one that is on the rise. Very effective card for red. Looks like we got about six packs left here, so we're coming into the close. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the Battle Bond opening. Not a lot of these going on anymore. Another Mythic, seven Mythics, Arcane Artisan. Man, we didn't get any of the big, big ones, but I can't complain when you get seven. That's nuts. Oh yeah, that's seven. That's seven Mythics. Wow. 
I'm greedy. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's set the record. I've never seen eight. I've never seen eight in a Battle Bond box. Planes. Oh, partner pair. This means we got two. We got Sylvia Bright Spear and Corvath Bright Flame. Dragons and Knights. What else? We'd love to see that morph of cool. I'm getting a little low on those. Any of the partners that we haven't gotten would be good too. Swamp and Victory Chimes. Nice little card. Good mechanic to just constantly untap. Zombie Giant. Look at that face. That is a hideous thing. Island. And Vertices Maneuver. Come on, doubling season. Let's let's make it happen. Warrior. Forest. Alright, luxury suite. We'll take it. That's four of the five. I almost got every single dual land. What a box! Seven Mythics, four of the five dual lands, a couple of the really solid rares, too. Man. Zombie. Planes. Oh, we got a foil. Ooh, Lost Focus foil, Feral Hydra. I do like this guy in the Nikia deck because he's just a mana sink. And then Commander, if somebody needs to help you out to save themselves, they can. And ooh, Mind's Eye. Forgot about this card. Another really good rare. All right, we're on to the last pack. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button. Not much more Battle Bond happening out there. Spirit, Mountain, and Archon of Valor's Reach. Another one that I really think is going to find more value in the days to come. All right, guys, that is it for the Battle Bond Booster box opening. Not too bad. Seven Mythics, four of the Dual Lands, feeling pretty good. Thank you for tuning in to Booster Therapy. You have a wonderful rest of your week.